When a gigantic shipping vessel blocked the Suez Canal in 2021, it hugely disrupted the flow of global trade. Many ships got stuck in the channel. The blockage caused losses amounting to some 10 billion US dollars. Fears are growing that a similar situation is imminent after many firms diverted their ships away from the Red Sea following increased attacks by Yemen's Houthi rebels. There is global economic instability. Egypt is facing shortages of foreign currencies, which makes any impact on the Suez Canal a huge problem. Given that it's the most important waterway in the world, it will have a consequence on Egypt's foreign currency earnings. Supply chains would be greatly impacted as shipping time and costs increase. Eight shipping firms are avoiding the Red Sea route, fearing further attacks on their vessels. Twelve more say they're considering a longer route all around Africa to the Suez Canal. The U.S. is leading an international coalition that deployed naval forces in the region to avoid further attacks on ships by Houthis, who have said they will target vessels heading to Israel. Some Egyptian experts say the situation can be contained. <laughs> The Houthis are not targeting all vessels, only those that carry the Israeli flags and the ships heading to Israel. Any other ship is not threatened. In addition, the U.S.-led forces are controlling the region and protecting navigation and trade vessels. This creates assurances and establishes security, so all other Red Sea countries will not be affected. The route through the Cape of Good Hope in southern Africa is 40% longer for vessels connecting Asia with Europe compared to the one through Egypt's Suez Canal. That not only adds 10 extra days to regular shipping time, but it also decreases the effective capacity of vessels by 25% and increases the cost of shipments as more fuel and manpower is needed. After some of the world's biggest shipping firms announced avoiding the Red Sea, oil prices increased by about $2 a barrel. So far, the Suez Canal Authority says that only dozens of ships have rerouted, which is somewhat an insignificant number compared to the more than 2,000 ships that cross the canal every month. However, if the rerouting is sustained, the impact on Egypt and the world trade will grow. Aydel Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.